Hi, it's James Harrison. I'm back to do another snare drum video for you. Today's drum is a unique drum, and I have to be honest with you. The reason I bought this drum is strictly because I'm a big golf addict, and this is the golf ball finish drum from D Drum. I just call it the golf drum. Uh, some people call it the golf ball drum. Uh, it's uh, six or six and a half by 13. It's got like cast hoops that are, uh, I guess you'd say, with the baked uh, white covering, white loves casings, white shell uh, with the dimples in it, hammered, I guess you would say, like a golf ball. It's got a vent hole or two vent holes between every single set of lugs, which are slightly offset. Again, it's by D-Drum. It's a metal drum. Um, I bought this drum uh, used. It was. Uh, it looked like it had never been touched. It came with Evans uh, Snare Side 300 Hazy and an Evans Genera Dry, which is like a has a ring underneath it with holes to, to vent it out. Um, and uh, I, I have to be honest off the bat, I'm not really a big Evans guy. Uh, I had tried the hydraulics and all that kind of stuff back in the 70s and part of the uh, 80s, late 80s, uh, and early 90s, I used them on bass drums only, but they, I just got away from Evans. And uh, I have never gone back. That's not a sign to Evans. I, I became an Aquarian guy for a while and then became a Remo endorser. So I'm all about Remo right now. But in all honesty, uh, I just haven't changed the heads that came on this drum. I actually just used it for display. I tuned it up one time and put it on the side just to see what it would be like, but I actually preferred the drum I already had, so I didn't really use it. So it's really more because I'm a golf addict. But, you know, for those of you who might be interested in D-Drum, I've only got two D-Drums. I've had a few more. I bought them, tried them, pretty much sold them, uh, with the exception of a couple. This was one I kept, again, really just because of the uniqueness, I guess I would say, because I'm a golf addict. So, um, as usual, I'm going to play the drums. Now, this one being a pre-muffled head uh, is going to not have the ring that a lot of them would have. I, I actually am not a big fan of pre-muffled heads. I don't mind a dot, but I don't like a lot of pre-muffling because depending on the gig you go to, it could be a live room, it could be a dead room or a dead stage. It's covered in carpet and curtains and car excuse, carpet and curtains. <laughs> and whatnot, and you can never unmuffle something that's pre-muffled. So I prefer to be able to have the ability to throw whatever type of muffling I want based on the room. But that being said, here it is, as is, uh, the way it is right now. shots in it right in the middle back of the stick that was without rim shots here's with rim, rim shots with the way the drum sounds. It actually sounds pretty good in this room right now. It's a bit, bit loud. Uh, cross stick. Now because that's a pre-muffled head, I can't really get a good timbali type sound out of it. Because it has no ring to it, because of the uh, uh, pre muffling that's already there. I am going to go ahead and throw this Vader bus kill on it. It may take too much sound away. We're about to find out.
muffling, a little bit of jazz. Okay, uh, recently I've, uh, during part of this uh, stay home type situation, I redid an old premiere kit, uh, put a new finish on it from On True Percussion. There's pictures on uh, Facebook and YouTube channel and uh, stuff like that if you want to see it. But right now I've got the bass drum and the floor kind of tuned in a medium thing so I could use it for jazz or for rock. Um, I did have a Yamaha kit with the mesh heads on it, but just because I was working on this kit, I decided to put it up and try it out for a while. So anyway, back to this Evans drum, excuse me, Evans uh, D drum. I actually like it. Uh, I have no problems with it. My experience, with other people I've known who've had these drums is they have a lot of problems with these uh, throw-offs and things like that. It, it is a little bit of cheesiness, but again, um, for me, um, I bought it strictly because of the golf ball finish. I'm sure I could uh, tune this up even a little bit more and uh, get a nice sound. Probably put a thinner snare head on the bottom, like a, a Diplomat for something like this, and uh, Probably change the head and, and just do a different muffling. But that's as it is. Again, I'm not really an Evans guy. Nothing against him. I know lots of people who really like these heads. Uh, I've had a lot of students that have uh, bought the Genera and the HD Dry. Like I said, I'm not a big fan of them. But I do think if you're going to have them, they work best on metal drums. I'll just leave it at that. So I'm all about the Remo end of it. So again, I haven't changed it from what I got. But here it is. Interesting drum, golf ball, dimple drum, whatever. I'm a golf addict, so that's why I bought the drum. But it's a nice drum. Thanks.